Today's video is sponsored by Phone Rescue. If you've ever forgotten your passcode on the lock screen or your screen time passcode, Phone Rescue has you covered with helping you restore and recover your lock screen passcode as well as your screen time passcode. So remove lock screen passcodes and recover screen time passcodes with Phone Rescue. Links will be in the description and down below. Hey guys, I do myself help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys how you can figure out the exact number of battery cycle counts on your iOS device. Now before we begin, battery cycle counts are measured in different ways. For example, if you're charging your iPhone to 100% and then drain it all the way down to zero, that is one battery cycle count. But we know that not everyone will do this every day, so battery cycle counts are measured in different ways. For example, if you use 60% of your battery today and then you charge it up to 100 and tomorrow you use the other 40%, then that's 100% there. That's considered one battery cycle count as well. Now I'll give down below links for more information on how battery cycle counts work and how battery cycles are important for the iPhone's battery. Now, no exact number of battery cycle counts will determine if your iPhone's battery is no good, but it does give you an indication if it may need to be replaced sooner rather than later. Now, we know that iOS has software built in that gives you information on when your iPhone's battery may need to be replaced. If your iPhone is at maximum capacity, your iPhone's battery is good. Don't freak out. Everything will be fine peak performance you see there right now at 91 percent but around the 500 number of battery cycle counts it's when we start seeing the battery on the iphone start to degrade and again i'll link down below some more information provided by apple but that 500 number threshold is where the battery starts going down to like 80 percent and below and that's when the performance may be impacted so i thought it'd be great to share with you guys how to figure out the exact number of battery cycle counts on your ios device so the first thing you need to do is head on over to settings privacy and then you want to scroll down until you see the analytics right here the first section up on the top here you see analytic data you want to click on that and then you want to scroll down to you find the log aggregated so l log aggregated where is it? there it is log aggregated now in this section here you want to make sure you choose the last log right here it is the last one right above the log power is the log aggregated you see all these here you want to choose the last one on the list right there it is the latest one the one with the latest information and then what you want to do is you want to tap and hold and then select all this text here that you see scroll all the way to the bottom and then just wait for the iPhone to scroll all the way to the bottom and then copy this information that you see here. So once it reaches the bottom, just click copy. And now we're gonna go to notes and we're gonna paste it into a note. We're gonna go ahead and create a note here, paste it in here, and there it is. So once we're done with that, click done, then click on the share options here. Then you wanna go into find in notes so we can search the note. And then right here you wanna type in a battery cycle count. And you see there that battery cycle count, there it is. And right below battery cycle count, you'll see a number. 279 is the exact amount of battery cycles on my device. So I'm about halfway through to get to that 500 point where the battery may start going down to 80%. And I may need to be starting to consider that the battery will need to be replaced. Again, there's no exact number that will tell you, hey, your battery needs to be replaced due to the cycle count. But as you can see there, I'm halfway through. I'm at 279 and the battery's at 91%. When I reach about 500, this will be down to like 80. And that's when I wanna start thinking about the battery and how to improve the performance. Now this can also be particularly important if you're buying a secondhand iPhone iPhone or iPad, you can check the battery cycle count to see if the iPhone or iPad may need a new battery soon so your investment is protected as well. I hope you guys found this information helpful. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. Make sure to subscribe for more cool videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you real soon. Peace.